Hey, this is John, Happy Wife Figures, out in the shop. Hey, the words I don't like to hear is when the happy wife says, Hey, I have an idea. My heart just sinks when she says that. But this time, it was a pretty good one. She said, what if we made an indoor quail cage for people that want a few quail, they want to keep them in the garage or even in the house, and they just want them for eggs every day. They can't have chickens, and so this would be a good alternative. So she drew a rudimentary figure, handed it to me, and said, go build that. So here I am. Now sure, you can buy a quail cage for a few hundred dollars. It's plastic but I think I can build this for under $50 using one and a half eight foot two by fours, some hardware cloth and some just screws. Uh, I will need a rabbit poop tray uh, to catch the poop and you know, that's just something you buy. It's actually gonna be built around that size which is 24 by 24. I will include the materials list down in the video description and I'll try and estimate the cost. First thing I did is take two by fours and just rip them in half. These are eight foot two by fours. The cage is going to be two foot deep, three feet across, and then 16 inches high. Next day, and I've got the wood cut out, and as I think about this, I keep making mods. It might take an entire two two by fours. Uh, but what I've got, I've got four 33 inch uh, two by twos. I've got five uh, 21 inch and uh, over here I've got four 16 inch and I've got this little skinny one. It's a one by two. You'll see where that goes uh, just for some support. So it's a work in progress. It'll be crystal clear by the end. We're gonna build it upside down so this is actually the top but you get an idea of the basic shape. So just gonna put screws in here and hold this all together. This is the side. Always use your clamps. I put in, this is just a temporary, so I can put the clamp in the middle and screw right here. Uh, if I put it on the end, then it's right where I wanna put the screw. This will be the top. And I want this bar to be four inches from the bottom to allow room for the poop tray. And easiest way to do that is just cut you a four inch block, place it in there, put your clamp on, and screw it together. Let me bring you up to speed with what I've done. So I made the basic frame. These are the 16 inch two by twos. The 21 inch, the 33 inch. So they make the box. Over on the left side, I had to put this piece of wood and I just connected it, connected it down here. But put that in so that it would take the poop tray, the rabbit poop tray. And there was a gap right here. So I just put in an extra piece of wood to fill that gap. It's farm work. Um, over on this side, I put another 21 incher, but it's longer. It's about two and a quarter inches. And I attached a piece of wood there, so I would have a lip again for the poop tray. On the back side, this is just a drop down piece of wood that stops the poop tray from, from sliding in too much. So. As you're probably picking up, this whole thing is designed around your poop tray. So if you get one that's different than a 24 by 24, you gotta change your dimensions. This is the poop tray. I'm sorry it's so dirty, but you can't seem to find new ones right now. This now fits in those guides, slides in, stops on that backstop, and there it is. So it's still about an inch above the ground. This area over here will be their sandbox area. 
So I'll put a piece of plywood under here. So um, there'll be hardware cloth coming across here. Then they'll hop down into the sand, play around, or there'll be a, a, a separate container for sand. I did put this three quarter inch piece just to hold the hardware cloth. So that's at about 12 inches, uh, 12 inches, 12 inches. So uh, I find that that's a good distance to hold the hardware cloth. One of the things I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a vertical support right here. And then I'm gonna put about four inches of plywood on the sides, on the three sides, because they like to mess around with the sand and shake it everywhere. And if it's in a garage or indoors somewhere, it's just gonna shake it all under the ground. You're not gonna like that. So that's just a little protector. They'll still be able to look out. It'll just help control the sand. I think I'm about done with the woodwork. And again, I'm kinda calling audibles as I go along because I see what it looks like and I go, ah, it's gotta change. I added a middle bar here just because it's three feet across and I wanted it to be a little stiffer. I added these vertical supports uh, because I'm going to add these boards here. That way when they kick their sand around, it, not too much will come out. I added this floor right here and just to make sure there weren't any gaps, I did put some caulk around here, sideboard, sideboard, and in the back. And you don't have to put sand down here. If you wanna put hay or something else for them to stand on, it's just a way for them to you know, get off the wire. I also made a door, and this is out of three quarter inch thick strips of wood, about an inch and a half. That will come down. You might be thinking, well, that's too big of a door, and they're all gonna jump out. Quail don't really do that. Uh, you might have one or two that get bold and want to come out. Most of the time they run to the back uh, and if they do jump out, they can't fly. They've never been trained to fly uh, because they've only got this small head space. So just reach down and pick them up, put them back in. The next step is I've got to put wire in the bottom and staple that in. And then I can put wire around the top, over here on the sides, and then finally in front of here, in front of here, uh, put the door on. I will secure it with a hasp and it'll be about ready. And boom, there it is. So I didn't go into great detail about building it, but you didn't want to watch a, a two hour video either. Uh, so I put on some hardware. This will just hold that shut. It'll flip out of the way. A little pull, let's get some hinges. Just made a simple frame, put the wire on it. And here's the little sideboards, the splash guards. It's just an idea. Modify it to your purposes. You know, if you want this longer, make it longer. Uh, you could even stack them on top by drilling a hole and putting a dowel, uh, drilling a hole on each one. Yeah, here's the poop tray installed, slides out. This is kind of designed for, you know, in the garage, maybe sitting on one of those six foot fold up tables. The happy wife who's sitting right over here. <laughs> I know, I haven't participated, but this was my idea. Yeah, again, the words I hate. Honey, I have an idea. Just wanted to show that with an idea and a sketch, you can build something. This was not the easiest thing in the world. I worked on it for a few hours for three days. We will probably use it for quail. Again, I will put a cut list, a material list down in the video description. So check that out. And if you build it, make some mods, let me know. It'll last you a whole lot longer than those plastic models. So. Definitely. All right. Hey, thanks for watching. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. There'll be more videos like this. And uh, hit the bell. You'll be notified of new videos. And we will see you soon on Homestead. Bye. Bye. Thanks for the ideas, honey. You're welcome. Yeah. Don't keep them coming. I will. I got one in the pocket. No. Bye. <laughs>